Hi, my name is Viktor Karpiak and I am a medical director of the Mayo Clinic Addiction Services. I'm also a researcher uh, who is interested in the impact of genetic variation on the risk for alcohol dependence and um, its impact on uh, treatment outcomes. I'm here today to tell you about our study focused on variation in the prodynorphin gene sequence and its effect on uh, post-treatment relapse in alcohol-dependent subjects. As you can see from this slide, the uh, global burden of alcohol use disorder uh, is quite uh, severe and significant, and it is second only to the global burden of um, major depressive disorder. Interestingly, there is an important uh, correlation between effects of uh, depression craving and relapse in alcohol-dependent subjects. More specifically, depression is quite common in alcohol-dependent subjects and it, um, is, uh, its frequency is between 30 and 70 percent, depending on uh, whether you're looking at uh, outpatient or residential treatment programs. It is also known that the presence of comorbid uh, depression negatively affects uh, treatment for alcohol dependence. Conversely, presence of alcohol dependence is known to negatively impact uh, treatment of depression. Craving, which is defined as a strong uh, desire to drink, uh, has been recently reintroduced as an important uh, symptom of alcohol dependence in the most recent revision of Diagnostic and Statistic Manual for Psychiatric Disorders, so-called DSM-5. It is also important to remember that uh, the negative craving, which is also described as relief type uh, craving, is known to be associated with uh, negative emotions, including depression, and it is also known to be uh, associated with treatment outcomes. Relapse, which is uh, one of the probably most concerning treatment outcome, defined as return to uh, drinking uh, after sobriety, is known to be uh, directly associated uh, with uh, the strengths of craving for alcohol. It is also known to be uh, precipitated uh, by um, presence of uh, comorbid depression. Moreover, uh, research indicates that uh, there is a gender-related uh, difference in the effects of craving and depression on relapse in alcohol-dependent subjects. Yet, underlying mechanisms uh, which connect depression craving and relapse in alcohol-dependent subjects remains unknown. Our study is focused on understanding of the effect of uh, kappa opioid receptor and uh, dynorphin signaling system on uh, craving relapse and uh, depression in alcoholics. On the slide uh, that you can see now, uh, we presented in a simplified way uh, the functional organization of endogenous opioid system and in the right side of this slide, you can see uh, the way uh, kappa opioid receptor interacts with dynorphins, which are endogenous uh, ligands for this receptor. Kappa opioid receptor is encoded by OPRK1 gene, while dynorphins are um, the cleaving products of uh, prodynorphin protein, which is encoded by prodynorphin gene. The role of uh, dynorphin kappa opioid signaling is quite significant in alcohol dependence. As research shows, uh, dynorphin kappa opioid uh, receptor signaling is uh, being uh, recruited uh, by repeated alcohol uh, withdrawal and uh, promotes alcohol consumption 
through development of the negative affect. Therefore, it is uh, known to be a critical component in the development and persistence of alcohol dependence. It has also been demonstrated uh, that uh, in experimental models, kappa opioid receptor agonists trigger dysphoria in uh, animal models and also trigger uh, dysphoria and depression-like uh, uh, symptoms in human subjects. Conversely, kappa opioid receptor antagonists are known uh, to have uh, stress-relieving effects and uh, promote antidepressant effects in similar models. It has also been demonstrated that in victims of uh, suicide, there is an increased amount of uh, mRNA produced from a prodynorphin uh, gene, which is uh, considered to be associated with the effect of uh, depression. Therefore, we believe that variation in prodynorphin and OPRK1 genes, which potentially affects the function or production of the dynorphin proteins and kappa opioid receptor proteins, may have effect on uh, development of alcohol dependence as well as related phenotypes, including craving depression and uh, relapse. Recently, we published uh, pap two papers uh, which describe our findings of association between prodynorphin gene and alcohol dependence, as well as propensity to drink in negative uh, emotional states. In the other study and in a different uh, set of alcohol dependent subjects, we have demonstrated that uh, prodynorphin variant, which is shown here, is also associated with uh, drinking to avoid emotional and uh, somatic discomfort associated with alcohol withdrawal. In the present study, we aimed to investigate uh, the association between prodynorphin and OPRK1 genes variation with the risk of relapse within the uh, first 12 months after treatment and the length of abstinence before relapse, uh, specifically looking at time to relapse. We also attempted to explore gender-specific effects of uh, this, uh, on rather, this association. We had uh, access uh, to a uh, same sample of 816 alcohol-dependent uh, subjects uh, which were treated in uh, programs affiliated with Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. It is the same sample that we used in our previously published studies. And for 202 of uh, subjects, uh, which include uh, 134 males, we had follow-up data reflecting their uh, ability to stay sober or uh, failure to stay sober within the first 12 months after treatment. We used Illumina uh, Golden Gate uh, SNP assay to genotype 13 tag SNPs in prodynorphin gene and 10 SNPs in OPRK1 uh, gene. Uh, we used logistic regression uh, to uh, assess for association with relapse, and we adjusted our models for age and gender. And we also used Cox proportional hazard models to assess uh, for association with uh, the time until relapse. Here you can see uh, the demographic and clinical characteristics of our study sample. As you can see, uh, two-thirds of the samples uh, of the sample um, includes male subjects. Uh, we included only uh, European Americans. Uh, as you can see, their age was around uh, 50 uh, years old on average, and uh, they had uh, quite uh, 
high uh, level of intensity of depressive symptoms as measured by BDI here. I also want to emphasize that uh, only 23% uh, of uh, our study sample uh, were free from comorbid psychiatric uh, conditions, which means approximately 76% uh, had comorbid depression, anxiety, or uh, other psychiatric disorders. It's important to discuss this issue because um, the characteristics of our study sample is pretty typical study samples uh, which are of treated in treatment facilities uh, in Midwest and pretty much throughout the country. And here is the uh, result of our uh, study. As you can see in a combined sample, we found uh, that uh, G allele of our SNP of uh, interest was uh, associated with increased odds ratio for relapse. Our subsequent analysis also indicate that uh, similar odds ratio of uh, 1.717 uh, was observed in a female uh, subsample, uh, which was also statistically significant, while no such association was uh, found in males. When you look at the uh, length of sobriety presented here as a time until relapse within the first 12 months after treatment, you can see that uh, the most uh, and the earliest uh, of the relapses happened in uh, individuals with GG genotype shown here as a green line while uh, the least relapses uh, happened in uh, the uh, individuals with AA genotypes and uh, AG, which is a mixed uh, genotype uh, uh, found in the middle, which is indicative of the dose-dependent effect of uh, G allele on treatment outcome. In summary, our uh, data indicate that uh, prodynorphin variant uh, with the uh, number of 2281285 and specifically G allele of this variant is associated with both the risk of post-treatment -treat relapse in alcohol-dependent subjects and the time until uh, relapse in the same subjects. These effects also seem to be gender specific and uh, the association is uh, being driven mostly by a female uh, subsample. We believe that future studies are necessary in order to investigate the functional mechanisms associating this particular genetic locus and uh, effect of female gender on relapse in alcohol dependent subjects. We also believe that uh, studies are necessary in order to assess clinical utility of uh, this particular genotype as a marker uh, which may be used for prediction of a treatment outcome in patients with alcohol dependence. And this is the end of my uh, presentation. Thank you very much for your interest and for the opportunity to share with you our research findings.